Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the differences between power grades and LUTs, when you should use one over the other, as well as how to make both of them from a color grade that you have. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve so we can learn about LUTs and power grades. So today's entire tutorial is going to take place inside the colors page. If this looks new to you, if you've never been here and you don't know how to find it, um, you're probably starting on this cut page here and you wanna come down to this little menu at the bottom where it says media cut, edit, fusion, color, fairlight, deliver, and just go ahead and click on the colors page. So once you're here, you're gonna be greeted by something that probably looks similar to this, but not exact. That's okay. I will go over everything that I pull up as I pull it up in order to help you follow along more easily. Where we're gonna get started today is actually with examples. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference in effect that you get when you use a LUT versus a power grade that were taken from the exact same color grade. Here I have an ungraded clip and then a copy of that ungraded clip that we're going to check out the grade with that I made on this clip right here of some off-roading I did in the desert. First one we're gonna show is the LUT. So once we apply this LUT, we're gonna get a lot of color changing and different like shading changes that we are looking for based off the clip that we built it around. LUT is actually short for lookup table. And a lookup table looks like this. So when you have this image and then you apply a filter over the top of it, it's gonna change all of these colors in different shaded areas to look a little bit different. So all it does when you add a LUT is compare the colors in your lookup table to the colors in your image and change them so that they match on that LUT. We're gonna go ahead and double click on our desert off-roading LUT and we'll see that we have some pretty drastic changes right away. If you pay attention to the color of the sky up here, Go ahead and toggle that back and forth. We get it much more muted, dark, maybe even highlights too low here because we had some blown out whites in the sky, but now they're more gray. And you can see that there are some general shading changes and some color differences down in here. And then when we go to add a power grade, which we're gonna be able to find if we open our gallery in the top left, and then actually toggle on this little icon right here, it's gonna open up stills and power grades. And then if we add this power grade to our clip, drag that out there, go ahead and drop it into our node web, we'll see that we have some pretty different effects. If we pop back and forth, you can see that there are some drastic changes between these two images. We still have some destroyed highlights up here, but the color in the sky looks a little nicer and we get a lot more contrast in that mountainside as well as in the road. And then the other big change that you probably noticed is when I use the power grade, I got an entire node web over here as opposed to just a little icon when I dragged the LUT. And that's indicative of the fact that a lot of the time you're gonna wanna use a LUT in conjunction with more color grading. Whereas if you just use a power grade, your color grading is pretty much already built in. You might need to add a few tweaks here and there, but for the most part, you've already done the work. So back on our LUT here, a LUT is not gonna be able to carry over anything like noise reduction, sharpness enhancement, different masks or vignettes that you might be using. It's only going to affect the color changes and the shading changes in the image that you adjusted. Whereas with a power grade, where we're saving all of these layer mixers and different nodes and different effects, and right here we even have some film grain that carries over, that is not gonna happen with just the LUT, you're only gonna get those colors. So you're even gonna bring over qualifiers like this one right here. I have this layer mixer node, and we can see that it's qualified pretty much everything except for the, uh, the browns in the image. And that's okay because the browns are picked up by this qualifier right here. So with our power grades, we're gonna be able to make changes with a lot more precision than we are going to be able to make with our LUTs. And so now that you understand some of the differences between a power grade and a LUT, let me show you how to make both of them because Resolve makes it super easy to create both of these tools. So we'll go ahead and create our look on this clip right here. And with this, I'm gonna call it good. I don't wanna spend a ton of time doing this grade in this video because it's not really what it's about. All we need to do to save this entire thing as a power grade, be able to come back, use these exact same qualifications and everything, is just with our power grade menu selected, like I showed before, open gallery, make sure this icon is clicked, and then instead of stills, go to power grade. With this here, all you have to do is grab a still and it will import into the power grade menu. 
And now, if we come to a different clip, and these save across DaVinci Resolve, you can use them in multiple projects. But on this clip, we can go ahead and drag this power grade in, and you'll see that we apply the exact same grade to this as we did to this. Click back and forth, they look exactly the same. But how then do we make a LUT? In order to make a LUT in Resolve, we're gonna right click on the clip in our clips area down here. If you don't have that, go ahead and click on clips in the top right and they should show up for you. Go ahead and right click on the one that you made the look on. You'll see this little rainbow around its number as opposed to not having one for an ungraded clip. We're gonna right click it, we're gonna go to generate LUT and we're gonna generate a 65 point cube you can go lower than that. It's up to you really how much detail you want it to have. I want it to have a lot. I'm gonna call this one AAAA, so it's super easy to find in our LUTs menu. And then once you've saved it, you're gonna go ahead and go over to LUTs, go way to the top for AAAA right there. And then if we apply this to our new clip by double clicking it, we can see that we get those changes made, but only to color. So remember we added coolness to it. So it's gonna adjust all those colors across the board to be cool. It's gonna make those brighter areas brighter but it's not gonna do that with the finesse that you're able to use when you have your qualifiers from your power grade. So those are the basics of LUTs and power grades inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I have a ton more Resolve content coming out all the time. Every single Thursday at 9 a.m. I'm dropping a tutorial for you guys. And if you have any questions left about the video or if I didn't cover something in a way that you understood, go ahead and ask any of your questions in the comments down below because I really love talking to you guys and I'm always here to help. So until next Thursday, enjoy your editing and have a good week.